Hey, this is Max, the musician's friend. We're here at Winternam 2019. We just stopped by the boss booth to chat with our friend Jeff, who's going to tell us all about an exciting new product they recently unveiled. Jeff, how you doing? I'm doing amazing. We're here to tell you about the Waza Tube Amp Expander. And what's really great about the Waza Tube Amp Expander is it's a really active load device for doing attenuation, which we're used to attenuation of. For, for, you know, we've heard of this for years on, on guitar products. But this one's really unique because it's a reactive load, which is extremely important for guitar players because your amplifier isn't just a delivery system through a speaker. Your amplifier is actually interacting with, with the uh, actual speaker that it's connected to. So you want a reactive load device, and you know just having one isn't right because your amplifier needs to not only act as if it's connected to one two by twelve, it needs to act as if it's four by twelve or an uh, AC thirty two by twelve, whatever it is. So we've got sixteen different reactive loads. And in addition to that, we have a continuously controllable uh, um, uh, volume on it. So instead of having a stepped response, you get to control the volume up and down as easy as you would like. And in addition to that. You know, that would be enough already because that every guitar player has a great tube amp at home that they would love to be using. Having a reactive load would be awesome to have around, um, but we go one step further. And that is that we add a bunch of features to it, including a reverb. And when we turn up the reverb knob on the front of the unit, like if I reach over here and turn it up and down, the reverb is affecting not only the direct out recording and for your studio device or for your PA system, but it's actually going through your live speaker cabinet. In addition to that, we add an effects loop. We add delay, we have uh, compression, and uh, a whole bunch of other great features, you know, like uh, um, the ability to change channels on the amplifier, your, your channel AB from clean to distortion, all right inside, inside this unit. So you've obviously been working on this for quite a while, but once you've really got a, a, a finished model to work with, what was the most exciting feature for you that you thought, this is just going to maybe change my workflow, change my sound, anything like that? Well, like, uh, so at one point I was sitting there with, a, I think I had an AC30, and I, I'm sitting there playing with it, and like an hour and a half has gone by, and I think I only played a D chord over and over and over. The, the ability to have the thing dimed and really sounding the way it was, but at a comfortable level. And, you know, we always say we like speaker distortion, but actually that, that I, turning down the volume on the thing, it just, the amp sounded more congealed and better, and it had a little bit of, of reverb on it, and that was just great, just a, just a glorious spot. So the experience is really, like at the end of the day, that's all what it's all about. I, I, I'm just finding myself enjoying playing guitar like you wouldn't believe. I'm rushing home to go pick this thing up and, and play my guitar again, and that's really exciting. You know, not only is it fun because I'm I'm getting that experience that I've always had when I used to play loud a lot, and nowadays nobody lets you play loud on stage. But I'm also just you know being able to pull out my old amps out out of the closet and get them all revved up and sounding awesome. Great. Can you? Uh, we, we've got a pretty big screen behind us. Can you just walk us through what we're looking at right here? Okay. So on the front of the unit, you know, as I was saying, we have these ten rigs and we have an effects loop. We have um, you know effects that are built inside of it. We have the uh, EQ on and off, and of course, of course, the amp selector. This is all controllable by by the uh, the uh, software that is available for this. So you know, you can use this thing to to you know add compression. Um, like if you look over here, um, you know, like I just select compressor, delay, reverb, and I can adjust. Like for example, on this guy. How much of it goes to the speaker out versus how much of it goes out out to the to your PA system? So, um, you know, if you're trying to record and you don't want to necessarily have the reverb to you on stage, but you want to go go to the house, you can do that, or vice versa, which is the more common thing to do. So, it's really a great device. You know, it's rack mountable. Um, you could see a lot of people taking, you know, because everybody's playing in ear monitors nowadays, uh, take this on stage, and it becomes part of your rig. What excites me about this product is it isn't a product that becomes something you do when you record or when you're on stage or you know we have like three different scenarios our home rigs our live rigs and our studio rigs but with this thing you can use it in all three it incorporates into your system just like your favorite pedal board or your favorite amp and it works in all of them all the time and it's extremely well excellent well you mind giving us a little demo of what it sounds like sure
Jeff, thank you so much. That sounded really fantastic. If you'd like to learn more and order your Waza Tube amp expander, head to musiciansfriend.com.